The short answer to this question is yes, you can use pans on the griddle, but different ones are better and some of them I don't really use anymore. Let me explain to you why. First one is your soup and saucepan. Um, this one's in bad shape, we'll go over that as well. But yes, this one I use a lot, I like to use. Um, you can use it for, I've used it for refried beans, I've used it for baked beans, coney sauce when I did hot dogs, uh, even barbecue sauce in there just to get it warm and like brush it on some chicken thighs or something like that. The one I use the most for probably is cheese sauce. So like for cheese steaks, I mean it works out great, you just open a can of that delicious liquid gold, dump it in here, boom, got yourself some nice warm cheese sauce for your cheese steaks or whatever, you can do burritos or whatever you want to dump that stuff on, nachos. So you could also do soup, but it's really hard to get soup in here, you know, and that brings us to the question like, can you boil on a griddle? And you can, I mean, I tried it once, I put some tomato soup on here and you gotta put a lid and it, it just takes forever, like forever. You gotta really crank it up and then by the time you get the griddle that hot, I don't know, it's too hot for other stuff that you're doing. So, I mean, maybe if you started the soup inside on the stove while the griddle is preheating and then brought it outside, that would be a better solution than trying to do it all the way on the griddle the whole time. Another thing I wanna to touch on quickly, you can see this one is kind of uh, rough here. Um, if you're worried, you know, if you have nice pans, unlike me, I don't have nice pans, you know, and you want some for the griddle, I just go to like the thrift store. I think I got some from the thrift store or like the dollar store and just buy a cheap set of pans that are going to be like outside on the griddle that you don't worry about, you know, because uh, you are, you know, there's grease on this griddle top here. So the bottom of them are going to get greasy and you got to wash them, but still you may not want to do that to like your nice set of indoor pans. So, you know, just something to keep in mind. You can always find them cheap at the dollar store or sometimes at like, even the grocery store or Target, they'll run discounts. And uh, and I don't mind going to the thrift store and just deep cleaning something and getting a real cheap pan that I know I'm gonna be putting cheese on on the griddle. Or if you go camping with your griddle, you know, I'm sure people have can pans for camping and stuff like that too. So a normal frying pan. Boop. Ah, whack somebody in the head, no. But um, frying pan, yeah, these work out great. I mean, cause they're flat, they got a large surface area. They really are gonna heat up. Um, I use these for like bananas foster when I did a bananas foster pancake, which was really good. Just lots of butter, brown sugar, some liquor, and you know, dumped it on a pancake. It's real healthy. But um, also, um, I've used these for eggs for my son. I mean, it does it defeat the purpose? Like, yeah, because you could just put the eggs, the scrambled eggs, right on the griddle top. But he doesn't like black specks in them. And they might run into like the bacon or the potatoes or something else. I mean, I don't care. I, I prefer, I usually, I just like to mix the scrambled eggs with the potatoes and the meat and just to have like a big old mess of a scramble thing. But he's two and a half. So if you have somebody like that and you want to keep the eggs in here, try to get them nice and fluffy, you know, that's another option um, you could do. And if you wanted, you could try to do like some ground beef in here to make a gravy or something. And you could use the other uh, soup and saucepan to make a gravy as well. I did like a packet of country gravy in there just a packet not fresh but whatever i mean you know if you're too good for using packets of gravy then you're probably at the wrong youtube channel i ain't no chef i'm just some dude in ohio griddling in his backyard but yeah these work real well so i mean you can use and keep that in mind be as creative as you want with them definitely use your frying pan big ones or little ones cast iron so yes yes you can use cast iron on your griddle top does it work well i mean it kind of you really got to preheat it inside if you're going to use it to be honest with you this thing takes so long well not so long but 10 to 15 minutes to heat up then this is so thick you got to think it's transferring all that heat between two large pieces of metal that even if you put it on from the beginning it's it's really going to take a while to heat up so if you have like um one of those really heat proof gloves or something and you want to heat it up on your stove while you heat it up uh, heat up your griddle that might be a better solution. Then your griddle can help keep it hot because these retain heat really, really well. So then your griddle can help keep your cast iron hot, but um, it's gonna take a while just to heat it up both. And then especially if you wanna fry, like I tried to fry chicken wings. I put some oil in a smaller cast iron and then I tried to, uh, you know, fry the chicken wings and make it so that like, it was up to 350, 375, and that took forever. That was a 
that was a big learning experience um, where I could have put it inside and warmed it up and then brought it out. I mean, then do you want to carry a pan of hot oil out of your house? I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much it's worth it. You got to decide. Maybe heating up the cast iron inside, then putting it out here, then adding the oil would be better if you really, really want to fry on here. But let's say you wanted to do sausage gravy in here or something. Um, I would just warm it up for, you know, the same 10 minutes that you're warming this up, bring it out, and then you would totally be at a fine temperature to, you know, cook up some sausage or, you know, add some uh, butter and flour and make yourself a gravy or something like that. Finally, we got foil pans. Um, you can use foil pans on the griddle. This is another thing that I have used, people I've seen use a lot for deep frying. Um, it's gonna transfer the heat quicker than the cast iron pan because the cast iron pan is so much thicker, you know. Um, this will hold heat better though, so you really gotta keep the heat on this if you wanna do foil. I've seen people do big foil pans for like a fish fry. Um, I've done one this size for some tortilla chips to try to do nachos. Um, I also use one for <clears throat> biscuits and gravy because I had didn't have success with the cast iron. That was before someone recommended heating the cast iron up on the stove, which I think would be when I do my next biscuit and gravy video, <clears throat> I'm going to do it that way in the cast iron because I just like the flavor it gets. Um, but these work. I mean, they definitely work. Um, for putting them on the grill. They also work really well for holding food hot. Like so if you want to put like a bunch of brats or something in here and then put it on top of this on the griddle so it's just not quite touching the griddle, that'll be a great way to kind of hold food hot and put it in the corner. Or I did beer brats in here as well. Um, so they work. Um, definitely use them. Definitely get these if you cook for a party or a crowd and use them to hold food hot or to put food in the oven to transfer from the griddle to the oven. As far as frying in them, I just disclaimer, I have no idea if this is true, but there's, whenever I use it where I put oil in there or fry in there, there's always at least a couple people that are like, say that's extremely dangerous and somehow is going to like, you know, get you sick or something. I don't know. I have no idea if that's true. I didn't really do my research. I'm not a doctor. I'm just passing it along to you in case it is true. Will I still do it? Probably. I mean, I don't know. Do I do it like all the time? No. I haven't seen other people do it. Yeah, a lot for like fish fries and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm sure somebody will comment on why they, they feel that way. But I just want to at least throw that out there so you knew. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video and you want to know more about griddling and different techniques and stuff, I actually have a newsletter you can sign up for, which I'll put in the description, which every week, Saturday, just an email about griddling, helpful things like this or usually almost always a recipe or temperature control or accessory review just only stuff to help you learn how to use your griddle more i don't go over my life story it's not a blog i'm talking about what i did that day and you know what movie i watched it's just it's all about griddling i have the link in the description on saturdays it's when the email goes out it's a very short read so thanks so much for watching keep on griddling friends